Here we go. Sampal Kami will bowl to Shaihan Jahangir. We'll get those graphics corrected. We've got House on strike in them, but it's a single to start with, as Anil Saad is the fielding. Remarkably, Peter, this isn't the first tie between these two sides. And it's not even the first tie between these two sides in Texas. Because two years ago, you and I were both there in June, in Paris. First tied match between these two sides. Hit away into the leg side. That's a good result for Nepal. Only a single. Depender Singh Ari, the fielder. I seem to remember you were a little bit under the weather on that time. And two off, two balls. Our graphics just a tiny bit incorrect. Balls him straight through. And listen to that roar. Sampal Kami is holding his nerve at the death. And Nepal are sensing... A win for the ages, pulling it out of the fire. USA in real trouble halfway through the Super Over. An atmosphere that's quite unforgettable as Aaron Jones is the one who's chosen to walk to the crease. A chance at redemption for him after what was an LBW decision that he clearly didn't agree with. Well, I said earlier the candles were blown out by Sampo Kami. Is Sampo going to kick the candles over now? On his 30th birthday, Aaron Jones has three balls to work with. And he heaves it into the leg side. Depender Sigari is out there! USA in the super over. They have only two on the board. And Sampal Kami is the hero for Nepal. Surely they're going to go 2-0 up in this series now. Well, he didn't just kick the candles over. He stomped on them. Not a birthday to remember for Aaron Jones. Sumpokami, the party pooper for Aaron Jones and the home side here. What bowling by the veteran. He tried to clear that huge boundary. And again, this is why I feel like they should have had Harmeet Singh in there. Having the right-handers try and clear that huge 82-yard boundary is just asking for trouble. If they get a left-hander in there and Harmeet Singh, I don't think they would have had such a calamity in the Super Over. What an extraordinary turnaround and turn of events. With six balls left, USA only needed seven. Sampal Kami's bowled the next nine, including the super over. He's only conceded eight runs, and he's picked up three wickets. Exceptional bowling. You need somebody who's going to explode the stumps with raw pace, and I think Ali Khan is the guy to do that. USA management obviously feels differently. Well, what's the approach, I suppose, fascinatingly for the two Nepali batters that have been selected? The captain is taking the responsibility himself. He's going to also take strike. And the man in form who was so brilliant today, surely nailed on to be the player of the match. Kushal Bertel with that wonderful innings of 92 not out that came off 54 deliveries with seven fours and six. six. I'm going to get it done in one delivery. These two guys, they're lightning between the wickets. They're quick silver. If I were them, I would do what USA didn't do at the end of the match. USA was in a position where they just needed to tap and run. Harmeet Singh, I'm not sure what he was thinking, trying to heave a six with two overs to go. Here we go. It's three to win, six balls to do it. And it's a dot. Oh, no, it's not. It's a misfield. Aaron Jones, it slipped through his fingers. On his birthday, he's had a birthday to forget. Out, not well. It was regulation being honest, Peter. He didn't have to sprint a yard. He was standing at a silly mid-on. It just burst through his fingers. It's probably not going to end up being the difference between the sides. I'll agree with you on that much. But USA, credit to them now. They are actually going to gamble. They're bringing everyone in. They're not just going to allow US, excuse me, Nepal to run two more singles. But Bertel, you would imagine, might just put a flourish to this finish with a boundary. They've only got one fielder outside. It's two, check that. They've got a deep third and a deep square leg. Those are the two fielders outside the ring, and they're hoping for a brain fade from Kushal Bertel to give a boundary catch. Everyone else in saving a single. It's two to win. And he whips it elegantly out to the leg side. Any single. <laughs> if they can't get over the line here, Lenny. Three balls remaining. Any run will do. USA need two wickets from one of their heroes of the World Cup, Sarah Netravalker, or three miraculous dots. And Powell guides it away and gets the single. And Nepal get the victory. They take it on a saleable 2-0 series lead.
much to the delight of the thousands of fans who packed this Grand Prairie Stadium. It didn't look likely for much of the chase, but thanks to the heroics of Sam Palkami, allied with Kushal Bertel's return to form, a first 50-plus score in international cricket for over six months for him, his innings of 92 not out, Karen Casey's three wickets, and Sam Palkami's heroics in the 20th over, and then again in the super over. They've guided Nepal to a famous victory on the most sensational of Saturday nights in Grand Prairie. Nepal, they just don't know how to win a match but got by a comfortable margin, Lenny. <laughs> they always take it down to the final ball, the final run. In this case, the final extra <laughs> over, if you will, super over. Rohit Powell and Kushal Bertel walk off with smiles on the faces. USA, on the other hand, they're going to be going into the locker room wondering, what on earth just happened? This is almost, in some way, shades of what happened in the Netherlands, where they had winning positions and then inexplicably shot themselves in the foot on numerous occasions.